Westerns are always drawn audience. There's so much about the history, but also they're a good tool to tell stories. It must have been great to, to be part of, of, a, of a Western like this, because they're always so rich in story and rich in characters and rich in environment. Yeah. Well, like I, I grew up watching Westerns as a kid, you know, I used to watch them with my grandfather a lot. Um, they always seemed to be on on a Saturday afternoon. And um, so it, it was really a dream come true to end up in one. And, um, you know, with all the gear, the horse, the six gun, the bullets, the chaps, the Stetson, you know, all of that. It was just, uh, I was living the dream. It's a, I mean, on paper, when you read the synopsis, it is a revenge story, but there's so much more going on underneath. It must have been a great page turner as an actor to read and, and just discover what was going to be happening and how, it, how, how deep and complex it was yeah. just, just beneath a revenge story. Yeah, well, as I was reading it, I, was, I also was reading um, a big, huge kind of coffee table book that had actually been given as a birthday present years ago by uh, my parents. And it's called The West, and it's from a, a, a documentary series. It's sort of the accompanying book. So I was reading this at the same time as I was reading the episodes. And Hugo's script is so accurate in terms of um, all of the things that were going on around that time. And there's elements of it throughout the script. So um, the script is fantastic. The story is fantastic. And, and Hugo, you know, he writes from a historical um, perspective as well, like he did with... Um, uh, the Honourable Woman, you know, it was all about Israeli-Palestinian friction and all of that, but he knows his stuff, you know, and I think working with a director who's also written it is a different experience because uh, the director knows exactly what they want because they've written it, they visualise it, they know, and it's so, so easy because he was able to just communicate very easily what he wanted from a certain scene. Yeah. And because it's there in his head, he knows he doesn't have to see, you know, 50 versions of it before he sees one that works. He just knows it straight away. So it was a real pleasure. There's been a great kind of, um, well, I say television's had this renaissance, but it's kind of become a lot more. There's obviously streaming and everything else. But for you as an actor, how much fun is it to go to work when you get to see an, a, more of an evolution of a character than you would say if you were doing a, a film? Because over sort of the episodes, you get yeah. to discover a bit more for yourself as an actor, but also the audience as well gets to be, uh, invest a bit more time. Yeah. Well, you know, mo most of the things that I've been in to date, I die in everything. And um, so it was really, um, it was lovely in this to have, uh, you know, to have a bit of an arc of the character. And um, like Finn Kelly, he arrives in episode two and he's in it till the end. So I, I had a good opportunity while I was there to sort of just, you know, get into the role, to get a feel for it. Also to get a feel of like doing scenes um, while sitting on a horse, you know, that sort of, you know, as you're talking, it sometimes going, starts turning around and you go, where was I? <laughs> you know, so, so there was a lot of laughs about yeah, stuff like that as well. Yeah, but, they don't um, tell you about the art of horse acting, do they, when you do a Western? That's, that's, that's the little <laughs> yeah, bit you yeah. don't know about. And for, I mean, audiences, I'm sure, will be drawn to this for so many reasons. For you as an actor, what are you hoping that they are drawn to and they take away from, from the series? Um, well, I hope um, people are drawn to my character, Thin Kelly, and I get lo lots more work out of it. <laughs> that's, that's the dream, isn't it? That's exactly what you want. I gladly do more cowboy work if it, if it comes my way. Hey, there's no, you can never turn down a cowboy work, right? <laughs> Steve, love to talk to you. Cowboys forever. Cowboys forever, yes. <laughs> I wish you all the best. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys. Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!